Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Once Upon a Crescent, a collection of stories for young Muslim children. I am your author and storyteller, Mrs. Hashmi. This is season two, and for season two, I'm going to need my lovely listeners to really tap into their imagination. I'll be saying the story, but your imagination is what will bring it to life. Today's story is called Beaver Baji's Favorite Blanket. Now, you must be wondering, why on earth would a beaver have a blanket? And what makes this blanket so special? Well, this is a story about Beaver Baji's most favorite blanket. Beaver Baji was a busy beaver. She spent all morning long collecting sticks to build a strong dam on a beautiful flowing stream. She had a very special blanket with her, and she used that to gather the sticks in. This blanket was soft and warm and full of her very own hand-picked sticks for the dam. Beaver Baji grabbed hold of the corners of this blanket to bundle up her pile of sticks. This helped her in carrying the sticks since they were all so securely piled in the middle of the blanket. She walked over to the large pile of building materials and plopped down her blanket full of sticks and opened it up. The bundle rolled out onto a large pile of building materials that Beaver Budgie had been collecting since way in the morning. She went on to gather and search for even more sticks for her dam. She tugged her blanket along, enjoying the beautiful view of the stream. Beaver Baji hadn't paid much attention, but she was dragging the blanket into the stream. Now it was completely soaked. Oh no! Oh my Allah! Her mouth turned upside down to show a total frown. She felt like crying. This was her favorite blanket, and there it was, totally soaked and wet in the water. Beaver Baji squeezed all the water out and twisted it and wrung it as dry as she could. With her mouth turned upside down and showing a total frown, she stared at the blanket and said, Ugh, this makes me feel so frustrated. Now I have to wait until this dries. (sighs) She huffed out a sigh and kicked a rock sitting nearby. Beaver Baji stared at the blanket and she decided maybe she could spread the blanket out onto a big rock near the entrance of a cave. Hey, I can just leave it here to dry. There was sunlight there, so maybe the blanket could dry off. I should probably give Benjamin Bat a heads up. Inside the dark, cold cave was a row of bats, all of which were sound asleep, except for one, Benjamin. Assalamu alaikum, Benjamin. Beaver Baji whispered to the bat. She was trying not to wake up the other bats. Benjamin Bat grinned and revealed his sharp fangs. Oh, wa alaikum assalam. What brings you in my cave, Beaver Baji? Well, I soaked my blanket, and it's right outside spread over a rock drying in the sun right now. Can you make sure nothing happens to it? I'm just going to finish gathering some sticks for my dam. I'll be right back. Benjamin Bat was happy to help. Sure, I'm awake. I'll keep an eye on it. She left happily to resume her day without worrying about her most favorite blanket. Benjamin Bat stared out the cave watching the blanket and trying his best to keep himself awake. He could feel his eyes getting heavy and slowly sealing shut. (laughs) Benjamin Bat was rudely awakened by the other bats fluttering around in a panic. 
they were all disturbed in their sleep by a bear. The bear had just entered the cave, and he was dragging along Beaver Baji's blanket. It was tightly grasped in his paw. Benjamin's senses were on high alert. This meant danger for him and the other bats. Benjamin Bat fluttered out of the cave and hid in a little dark corner, <sighs> huffing and puffing. He peered into the cave and saw that this enormous brown grizzly bear had just gotten comfortable. <sighs> if I'm hibernating this winter, I better get comfy and settled. What are the odds I find the most perfect blanket right outside this most perfect cave? Alhamdulillah. The giant grizzly bear rubbed his face all over Beaver Baji's blanket. Oh, and he cuddled close to it and he curled himself into a ball. Oh, I can't forget my sleeping dua before hibernation. Allahumma bismika amutu ahya. Meanwhile, Beaver Baji was approaching the cave, but Binyamin Bat fluttered right into her face. Ah! You flew right into me, Benjamin. Don't go near the cave, Binyamin Bat said in a panicked whisper. Why? I'm just going to grab my blanket and be on my way home. Benjamin, don't worry, I won't disturb the others. Benjamin Bat gulped. Um, there are no others in the cave anymore. It's only Bear John. You know, the biggest, scariest grizzly bear out here. He's chosen our cave to settle into for winter. He's about to hibernate as we speak. Beaver Budgie's mouth turned upside down to show a total frown. She felt like crying. This was her favorite blanket, and there it was, all tucked in and nuzzled under this gigantic grizzly bear. Binya Mean Bat noticed that Beaver Budgie was about to cry. Oh, no, 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 don't cry. Hey, look, at least it isn't food that you're depending on to survive. It's just a blanket. You can always find a replacement. You'll live. You'll move on from this. Okay, okay, you know, just be grateful. It wasn't a stash of food that you worked so hard to gather. Beaver Baji held in her cry and thought about this logically. Benjamin Bat was right. A blanket could be replaced. Beaver Baji took a moment, and she decided to just bravely face Bear John and ask for her blanket back. She sucked in a brave breath and marched into the cave and stopped just a few steps because Bear John was now readjusting his huge body. <sighs> he shifted his furry body around and curled more tightly into the blanket and sleepily growled. Uh, there better not be any interruptions nor any disturbances. I take my hibernation seriously. Bear John yawned by opening up his threatening jaw wide open, and he recited, Allahumma bismika amutu ahya. Beaver Baji stood as still as a statue as Bear John completely tucked the blanket under his face, only revealing a small corner of the blanket free from under his large furry face. Beaver Baji's mouth turned upside down to show a total frown. She felt like crying. This was her favorite blanket, 
and there it was all tucked in and nuzzled under this gigantic grizzly bear's face. Benjamin Bat flew to Beaver Baji and whispered, Oh, no, 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 don't cry. Hey, look, at least your blanket is not torn, right? I mean, it's not even damaged. You might get it back in the springtime when Bear John wakes up again. I'm sure he'll exit the cave so hungry and just leave behind your blanket. You'll live. You'll move on from this, okay? Just be grateful the blanket isn't totally damaged or torn. Beaver Baji held in her cry, and she thought about this logically. Benjamin Bat was right. The blanket wasn't torn, nor was it damaged. She took a moment and decided to bravely yank the blanket free while Bear John was in his deep sleep for hibernation. I'm going to take my blanket and pull it off of him. Bear John won't even notice because he's snoring right now. Benjamin Bad watched as Beaver Baji bravely marched up to this enormous grizzly bear and took a hold of the corner of the blanket. She tugged and yanked and wrapped herself around the loose end of the blanket that was peering out from underneath Bear John's face. She really used her entire body to loosen it up from Bear John's clutches. <coughs> Beaver Baji struggled and struggled some more. <sighs> oh, this blanket show sure is warm. Ah. My warmies. Bear John was in his sleep, but in his sleep, he scooped Beaver Baji into a tight bear hug, and he cuddled with the blanket even tighter. Except this time, Beaver Baji was wrapped around the blanket too, trapped in a deathly bear snuggle. Not only did Bear John have Beaver Baji's most favorite blanket, but Bear John now had Beaver Baji too. <sighs> Beaver Baji's mouth turned upside down to show a total frown. She felt like crying. This was her favorite blanket, and there it was, along with her, all tucked in and nuzzled under this gigantic grizzly bear. Benjamin Bat flew cautiously near Beaver Baji and whispered, Oh, no, 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 no. Don't cry. Hey, look, at least you get to warm up and have some rest, right? <laughs> Benjamin Bat said awkwardly, Okay, just be grateful that you weren't attacked by a bear. You'll live. You'll move on from this. Okay, just be grateful that you're alive. Beaver Baji snapped. But I'm trapped in a deathly bear cuddle, Benjamin Bat. Beaver Baji's mouth turned upside down to show a total frown. She felt like crying, and there was no holding back her tears now. She turned her sadness into a dua and called out out loud. Oh my Allah, you see and hear everything. I just want my blanket back and I just want to leave Bear John's gripping cuddle. Oh my Allah, I know you can remove any difficulty in any situation. Oh my Allah, I just want to be gone from here with my favorite blanket. <laughs> Oh my Allah, I am grateful for my blanket not being torn or damaged, though. Alhamdulillah for that. I'm just feeling really sad right now. Beaver Budgie's tears flowed out and dripped over to Bear John's fur. Bear John's ears wiggled and his neck craned and cracked as he awoken slowly. <sighs> Who keeps calling out to Allah? I can't sleep with that voice of sadness in this cave. 
What is going on? Bear John twirled and straightened out his body. Now he was no longer curled in a sleeping position. Now he was crouched over, examining poor Beaver Baji and her puddle of tears. She looked up at Bear John and went straight to the point. Bear John, you took my blanket and I would like it back. She stared blankly into Bear John's face, not knowing how he would react, and mumbled under her breath, Oh my Allah, please protect me from a bear attack right now! A bear attack? Why would I attack you? I just want you to leave this cave so I can get back to hibernating. Your sad feelings that you turned into duas were too loud and disrupting for me. Here's your blanket. Will you both leave now? Bear John said in a cranky voice, shooing away Binyamin Bat with his paw. Binyamin Bat fluttered towards the exit, pushing Beaver Baji along. They both ran into the sunlight and stood at the entrance of the cave. Alhamdulillah, they both exclaimed. Beaver Baji wrapped her blanket around her body and was ready to head home. Binyamin Bat called out from behind. Beaver Baji, wait one second. Where'd you learn that dua from? Allah answered it right away. I need to learn that dua when I'm in trouble next. Beaver Baji laughed. <laughs> it was just my true feelings that I said out loud to Allah. It's as easy as that. Our feelings can be a way to remember Allah. Binyamin Bat was amazed. Oh my Allah, I am so happy and grateful we are saved from Bear John. Oh my Allah, I'm a little worried about finding another cave to live in now that this one's taken. Oh my Allah, I'm so tired and exhausted from today. That was a scary experience for me. Oh my Allah, I hope you keep me safe and sound from big animals in the future. Hey, look at that. You're a pro at this too. You just said your feelings out loud and included Allah in your conversation. Beaver Baji laughed at all the feelings that Binyamin Bat said out loud and turned into du'as of his own. She skipped along towards the stream, holding her most favorite blanket securely in her arms. Assalamu alaikum, Benjamin Bat. I'll see you around. Wa alaikum assalam, Beaver Baji. Take care. Make sure that blanket doesn't get wet again. He called out from behind and continued on with his conversation. Oh my Allah, I really am not good with being out out in daytime. Oh my Allah, I feel kind of anxious being awake right now. Oh my Allah, I am so worn out from today's craziness. Oh my Allah, I'm just happy the day is almost over. To all my lovely listeners, remember that whenever you're dealing with big feelings like Beaver Baji was, the most comforting thing that you can do is to just say your feelings out loud. You can say, oh my Allah, I am feeling, and fill in the blank. It will be as if you are calling out to Allah, and it will be a dua for you. Then you'll see how much ease Allah will bring down to your situation. Jazakallah khair everyone for your time and support. If you've enjoyed this story, please subscribe. And feel free to share with other families and friends to help spread the word about this podcast.